Welcome to the show. My guests today say there are winners and losers in the game of love. Please welcome Nikki to the show. She says she has the records to prove that her man is a cheat. Whoa. Oh. What records do you have there? I have his phone bills. Oh. Every time he was calling and texting her. Oh, who is the her? Some girl that he apparently just met off the streets. Yeah. We've been Does married. It say, what, is it a street phone there? Oh, cell phone. Oh, yeah. There you go. Oh, I know okay. that number. Oh, no, I know. <laughs> so, okay, so you have a boyfriend, or is it a husband? It's my husband of Your eight hu years. Eight years. Children? Two. Oh, wow. Okay, so you're in a serious marriage here. And when, how did you suspect that something might have been going on? Well, because he all of a sudden just want to go right around and hang out with his guy friends. And yeah. He needed the alone time because he felt like he was being trapped. Yeah. You know, because he was tied down to his wife and two kids. And we'd been together for so long. And so every, every night I'd call him and ask him where he was at. And he'd just tell me, oh, it's none of your business. Don't worry about where oh, I'm at. That's not a good sign. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. now, so how did you get, well, you paid the phone bill. Is that how you got the records? Oh, uh, yeah. Well, then uh, every time he was talking to her on the phone, I knew he was texting a lot. Yeah. So then I kept thinking, well, something's not right. You know, now I got this random text from some guy that I don't even know saying that after my girl's birthday parties that my husband and some slut's going to be living happily ever after. And so you found out who this girl is? Well, I asked him who she was because I, I barely met her. I met her like a couple times when we we're hanging out at the Springs, you know, just having fun. Well, then I asked him if this was true, and he kept denying it over and over and over, saying, no, we're just friends. You know, I only talked to her when I go to the gas station, saying when they never even spoke to each other. And then so I called her and mm -hmm. asked her if, if this was true, and she kept denying it and everything else. And would never tell me the truth. Kept saying, we're just friends. I never even talked to your husband. And, and so you're here to find out the truth? Yes. Okay. I want you to know. Uh, so her name is Melissa, but it doesn't say that on the phone record. Nope. Just okay, here's Melissa. I mean, if you say there's nothing going on, what is this? Yeah, for the past eight months, I have been talking to your husband in here recently. Yeah, we have been having sex. You bitch! <laughs> show me pictures of your girls and he said I can't wait until you can meet my kids and we can well, 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 why are you so angry at her what did she do wrong you're the one breaking up the family and you're angry at her why are you angry? that's right that's my family my husband of eight years well, and you knew that it's not like I was intentionally trying to do it Jerry I really wasn't at first you just started off as friends yeah he was telling me how they was having problems yeah. in their in their family and everything yeah. and then feelings started happening now, has he said he wants to leave her? Yes. Well, then how come he's still with her? Or is he not with you? No, we're still together. Not for long. Does, <sighs> is he still intimate with you? And not recently. Yeah. Not for the past six months. <laughs> Looks like I had it last month. <laughs> oh! <laughs> All right, well, I'll tell you what. Why don't we find out what he has to say about this? Here's Brian. liar. You are a liar. You lied to me. I you, didn't lie to you. We took vows together. Yeah, we had no two crap. kids together. No crap we took vows together. If you'd act like a wife, then maybe nothing. <laughs> lied to me. I didn't lie to you. You lied to me. I didn't the lie. phone bills, you lied about them. I didn't know what number it was. I'm sorry, okay? Yes, I didn't. I didn't That's the problem right there. If you just be quiet for a second, and just let me talk. It's not all about you, okay? All about yeah. me? It's about our family. I take care of my kids. Who, what family? What about your wife? Apparently you don't love me enough. No, I love you. I love you more than anything. And first off, you're lying. I never said that I was going to leave my wife for you. Oh, now you're going to go back on words just because you're in front of her? 
No, Come I'm not going on. back on words, okay? Yeah, you are. I'm sorry. I screwed up. I know that. But, you know, if I was getting the attention at home that you're supposed to be giving me, then I wouldn't do that. I take care of my kids. I'm a great father, and I, and I love you to death. But come on, we would go to work, we'd get off work. By the time we got home, we'd take care of the kids, we'd get them in bed. And when it's all said and done, maybe I want a little time with you. I love you. I want to be with you. I want some time for me and you. So the guy but, time? No, no, come, come on. This is a good all recovery. you did, you would fall asleep. You fall asleep when I want to spend time with you. What the heck do you expect? She was showing me attention. At least she sat there and complimented me every once in a while. Well, that's what happens when we have kids at work. We have uh, to do stuff like that. There's tons of people that have kids, and they still spend time together. You make me look like crap in front of everybody. Maybe if we weren't texting all the time, you'd have time to pay attention to me. Hmm. Now, you never told her, in fairness, you never told her that you wanted to be with her and that you were going to leave? I never told her that. I swear to you, Jerry. Okay. I That's never told like her that. You now, now I, like I, I do admit, you know, she, we, we started out as friends. And she kind of started flirting around a little bit. I flirted around back. It was just kind of... How are you going to put it all on me? You was doing the same damn thing. I'm taking, I'm taking my guilt, okay? You no, know, you're I not screwed. taking That's nothing. You're trying to put it off. Ago. No, you're trying to put it off all no, on me. No, I'm not me. trying to put it all on okay. you. I, now, so you we don't did. have feelings for her romantic. I do not have feelings for her. I do not at all. Oh. It started out as friends. She flirted around oh. a little bit. It was something different, something I wasn't getting at home. Yes. And I screwed up. I'm sorry. But you cheated on me with her. You slept with another woman after we took bows. You know, if you gave it up every once in a while, then maybe I wouldn't have cheated on you. Oh. How could you do this to me? I didn't do anything to you, Nikki. You did. It's you all lied about to me. you. You got to realize that we're not roommates. We are married. We're not just parents to kids. That's right. We're married. You don't go sleep with some slut. Slut. You ought to be ashamed of yourselves. What is the kids going to think? You know sluts on the Jerry Springer show. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Jerry, Jerry, okay. Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. So you're saying he's really lying now? Yes, he is. I'm not lying. I swear he to you. He said I'm not that lying. he was going to leave her. He showed me pictures of their little girls and said, I can't wait until the day y'all meet. Can't wait. We were friends and that was it, and you know it, so don't try to sit there and make me to oh, be the bad so, guy. Oh, uh, so, who's the one that me? Oh. Is that just friends or what? You're right, I did, but then again, you know, <laughs> as easy as you are, I'm, ha I'm surprised half of Arkansas already hadn't. Oh, no. Anyone here from Arkansas? <laughs> uh, okay. So, what's gonna happen? You, you, you're saying you love her. I do love her. I'm yeah. sorry. I screwed up. That instead of looking somewhere else for the attention, I should have been looking for you. I should talk to you more about it. If you would just be quiet and let me talk every once in a while, I promise, Nikki, I do love you more than anything in the world. And you know I'm a great father to our kids. And you know that I love you more than anything. Please, just give me a chance. Please. You what? I will not lie to you, you ever again. You with another girl. You don't know how bad that hurts. I don't know. You lied this whole time, and I asked you to be honest with me. I mean, the, the night said our kids go to bed and you run off because you want guy time. You was actually with her. When we fight, you take me to my mom's house and drop me off and tell me it's none of your business where I'm going. How am I supposed to believe you again? But I'm telling you now that I, I swear to you, I will try with all of my heart. I'll give 110% for you and for the girls, because I love all three of you. If you love me, you wouldn't have done it. We'll be back. If you think that was wild and crazy, then click here to keep watching. And don't forget to subscribe. All you have to do is click here. And one more thing, take care of yourself.
and each other.